Okay guys, today we're going to talk about getting some client stats. Uh, you usually do this when you're tuning queries or looking into some kind of problem, right? Uh, but uh, one of them is going to be for looking at a problem and tuning queries, and the other one's just going to be for tuning queries. And these are some, some very little used features in uh, Management Studio, so I thought, I would, uh, I thought I'd uh, show you. So, we got this really long query here, right there. This was actually generated from Link, right? So we get to see all this, uh, all this, uh, all these lovely uh, nested selects. Now the thing is, this is one of those queries. It's got two parameters right here. This is one of those queries that would be far better off as an SP. So the problem you always have with people who use Link, right, is explaining to them that uh, some queries are far better off. Uh, as, as an SP. Sorry about that. I lost my train of thought when that email came in. Um, <coughs> so here's how you're going to be able to prove it. If you come up here to query and you can say include client stats, right? You also have that button right here. So if you include client stats, when you run this, let me just select all of that and run it. What I get here is a client stat tab that gives me all of this info on to and from the server and the one I'm looking for here is bytes sent from client you notice how here it's got 19,716 right however I've turned this into an SP way down here there we are I just called it query test so now when I call the query test SP you notice how I've got trial 1 and trial 2 and average, right? So trial 1 clearly was the first one. Trial 2 is the second one, right? And when I look over here at bytes sent from client, I go from 19,716 to 104. So there's a tremendous difference in, uh, in what I'm sending across the wire. And this particular SP or this particular query is actually being run like... 30 or 40 times a minute so network traffic wise it really matters right so this is one of the ways that you can prove to the people uh, that you're talking to that, that, that uh, put in link that you that they really need to be having link call this as an SP instead of as a generated query if it's being run once or twice a day it may not be that big a deal right um, we'd still like to keep that traffic down but it may not be as big a deal but as many times as this thing's being called it's a really good idea to uh, um, to go ahead and, and turn it into an SP just for the network traffic alone but the the point is 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 here in the client stats I can I don't know how many I can stack up in here I've stacked up six before but I've never tried to go further because I don't need to uh, but you can sit here and, and try different things, right? And then up here in Query, you can reset the client stats so that when I run this again, you notice how now it's gone back to, there's my 104. Now the SP call is trial one, and it'll just keep stacking up, right? So that's how you view the client stats. Pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and turn these off. Uh, the next one that's really good and this one's uh, very little use. People go way out of their way to configure Profiler. A lot of times when you want to see what your session is doing, um, they'll come here, and you'll go to Tools, and you'll go to Profiler, and then you'll Profile, and you might limit it by your session, uh, you know, by, by your SPID, right? Or by your workstation ID. But one thing a lot of people don't know is when you come up here to Query, and you say Trace in Profiler, Hold on, it'll take in a second to come up here. There we go. When you trace in Profiler, it automatically limits it by your SPID. So if I come in here to Properties, I can come to Column Filters and SPID, and you see it's already got 105 in there, and you can see right here that 105 is my current SPID. So it automatically gives you uh, a session that's limited by your SPID, so you're you're only tracing your activity. Uh, that's really cool. Now, and it's all and the trace is already started, 
so you don't have to configure anything but if it's not if it doesn't give you what you're looking for you can hit stop and you can hit properties and you can come in here and you can change anything you want right so you can make uh, you can make changes to that so anyway that's all I had on that I wanted to keep this nice and short I just wanted to show you guys that uh, there are two different ways to get client stats um, uh, one of them is is an easy way to trace your current SPID and the other one is a way to see the network activity coming to and from the server talk to you later